So hi, here's Intergeo TV. My name is Denise. I'm your host for today. I'm really glad to talk today about a really important topic, um, which is diversity, equity, and inclusion. And my guest today is Albert Momo. And Albert, he is chair of World Geospatial Industry Council Committee for Diversity, Equity, and uh, Inclusion. And in his primary role, he also works as a vice president and executive director for Triple. So hi and welcome to Intergeo TV, Albert. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And it's a pleasure to talk to you. So um, today's focus is on your work of the committee because, um, yeah, just shortly Intergeo announced a strategic partnership um, between the World Geospatial uh, Industry Council, the WGIC, and the German Association for Geodesy, Geoinformation and Land Management, who's the organizer of Intergeo. And yeah, this strategic partnership is to make Intergeo a more um, global and vibrant platform for uh, forward-looking discussions on uh, the geospatial ecosystem and the allied technologies. And of course, um, also uh, your work of the committee um, of the um, diversity and uh, equity uh, section. So um, yeah, just uh, tell us a bit uh, about uh, your committee's work. Um, take us a bit with you uh, in, in your, yeah, I mean, uh, everyday experience. Yes, thank you. Uh, so let me start by introducing WGIC, the, the World Geospatial Industry Council, which is uh, an organization of companies in the geospatial sector. And what WGIC uh, uh, do is actually uh, representing the, the industry and also enhance the, the role of geospatial in the, the world economy and um, uh, facilitate exchange between, exchanges between uh, geospatial companies. Uh, and within WGIC, we have uh, different committees. Uh, and one of them is the, the, the DEI committee that I'm, I'm the chair of. So DEI is diversity, equity, and inclusion. So as part of that committee, we try to increase diversity, equity, and inclusion within geospatial the geospatial community. Uh, and we do that by being advocates for uh, DEI uh, within our sector. And we started by putting together a white paper that was one of the first to uh, actually uh, present the, the DEI situation within uh, our sector. Uh, and then we are now you know, putting in place actions that uh, in our mind will help uh, improve DI overall within geospatial sector. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, what, what are the main challenges you are faced with the topic um, of uh, the, the challenges for inclusion and diversity in the geospatial sector? Where do you see the, the main uh, challenges? So there are, there are really many challenges. And uh, looking at our sector, uh, we have, and we should have concern with a lack of diversity. Uh, and I'm talking about diversity on, on race, diversity on gender, diversity on national origin. And if you actually look at companies, diversity of uh, location of those companies. So when you have an event, like Intergeo, you will notice that the majority of participants are coming from the developed world. And you will notice that the majority of participants are white male, right? So we, uh, there is clearly a lack of diversity when you look at the geospatial community as a whole. So that's the first challenge. How can we uh, increase diversity within uh, that uh, geospatial community? And when it comes to inclusion, so what are the actions that we can put together to, for people to feel a sense of belonging, for people to feel like they are part of a larger community, regardless of their race, their gender, their national origin, their religion, 
or the sexual orientation. So those are some of the challenges and uh, need that we have to address as part of the, the, the DEI uh, committee within WGS. It's a really important work because my impression is too, um, I'm at a team interview for 10 years and when I'm at the shows, there are so many um, men and I'm really looking for more female um, power at the geospatial sector, of course. And of course also, um, yeah, so race and gender shouldn't be um, any any um, yeah a problem for the geospatial world because it's um, it's wide and it's had, it has a big variety of technologies applications and it's future oriented and it's really really interesting. So um, so you put awareness on the topic and you made something very um, yeah special for this year in the two because you will present the Trailblazer Award. Um, take us into that topic because what is the world focused on and can you give us um, yeah, some, some examples of what it is about? Absolutely. And the jury is still deliberating on the, on the award. Uh, but, uh, and, and I have to mention this, we, we have to be proud of the, the, leadership, of the, the leadership of our various uh, companies within the WGIC. They, they've been doing a very a uh, great job in uh, increasing awareness and putting together DEI policies within their companies. So I, I can name all of them on you know, what they are specifically doing to, to make sure that within their own companies, uh, DEI become an, an important element of, of, of their work. And that's what the, 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 our awards are, are trying to, 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 to raise. I'm trying to put a highlight on. So we have two awards. One is for a company. And we want, you know, once again, all of them are doing a tremendous job. But we want to pick one of them and showcase that company as the example of a company that is implementing, uh, I would say, good policies when it comes to DEI. So we want to see a company that can showcase what is to be done, you know, in order to create a more diverse, a more inclusive, and a more equitable uh, environment uh, uh, for their the, the, the workforce. So that's the first award. The second award is for an individual. So we want to recognize a champion of DEI within the geospatial community. So we have some good candidates, and like I said, the jury is still uh, uh, debating, is still working on, uh, on selecting who, who's that best person is, but we really want someone that we can present that can be the face of, of, of DEI within the geospatial community. Uh, and Intergeo is really the best place to actually highlight what uh, a company is doing when it comes to DEI and actually also to highlight the, 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 the effort of whoever will be selected as the DI champion. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the submissions are done. Uh, the end of the submissions was in August when I read your press release right. Uh, so you have already seen um, some, uh, some presentations for individuals and for leaderships with a good uh, examples for diversity and uh, inclusion. And uh, yeah, can you give us some insights what companies are doing and uh, yeah, what people are doing who um, yeah, made their submission? Yeah, we were lucky enough to receive a, a, a lot of recommendations, right? A lot of um, companies that, uh, and for the, 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 the company award, uh, so it has to be a member of WGIC. So we, uh, and we didn't receive a lot of uh, companies uh, actually nominating themselves. So uh, and that was very interesting, having people outside of companies noticing what they are doing and nominating companies that they don't work for. So that means they are doing something great, you know, for people outside of the company to notice how good of the job they're doing when it comes to DEI. So we have some very good companies. And I know 
that you know whatever company will end up being the winner they they really they are doing something great and i read some of the 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 the, the, the nominations you, you can tell it's going to be a difficult task to end up picking only one out of the the many that were nominated and same thing for the individual award and for that one we actually uh, looking for an awardee that is you know just part of the of the geospatial community it doesn't have to be a member of the bgic and there too we have some great nominees and some people were actually nominated twice so which is a good sign that you, you're probably doing something right if more than one person you know send a a, a nomination for you and that also i expect a, a, a very a real di champion uh, to be awarded the uh, for the, 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 the this time <laughs> that's cool that's super so i hope we'll have a little party because it's the first time that we do the trailblazer awards at intergeo and celebrate together these um good examples for um, integration inclusion and equity and uh, yeah um, well, Albert, uh, just uh, tell me a bit more about, um, for example, what kind of work or campaigns do you do for bringing this topic of DEI into the geospatial sector? For example, do you campaigns for more um, female professionals in the geospatial industry or does it just start uh, with all the um, work for DEI of the WGIC? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's, and the white paper was a, a, a very good starting point, right? Because we have to acknowledge uh, what we're missing. We have to acknowledge uh, places where uh, there is more work that needs to be done. So that's the first action. The, the second one is to capture, uh, because at the end of the day, WGIC itself is, is not the, the, the one making the changes, right? The, the companies are doing that themselves. So we have to acknowledge what they're doing. And as part of the committees, the committee, we have representatives from various companies. So also by sharing what's happening in our individual company and bringing back to our, our coworkers what we learn from others is a way to making sure that all together, we can improve uh, DEI within the, the geospatial sector. And, and yes, we have some specific actions, uh, such as uh, looking at the diversity of leadership within the geospatial companies. So how can we increase that diversity within the leadership? How can we create an environment where minorities being uh, based on, on race, based on type or, or whatever minorities, or even a uh, handicap, create an environment for those minorities to feel like they have a place, to feel like they can contribute. And uh, of course, uh, ad advocating for a more diverse workplace, more women, more uh, uh, people of different races, uh, people with different sexual orientation, people from uh, different nation, national origin, or, or people from you know whatever uh, barrier they have, and that can we can use to make them uh, to make our companies better integrated. And that's at the individual level. There is also one part that we look at when we look at the membership of WGIC is heavily companies from uh, North America and West Europe. Mm -hmm. So part of our effort as DI is also to find ways for companies from the developing world, companies mm -hmm. with uh, small and medium companies to integrate WGIC. So we want WGIC itself as an organization to be more integrated and to accept uh, companies that are not like the usual companies that you, 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 you think of when you think of, of, of geospatial. And having those companies from uh, developing countries, those small and medium companies joining uh, WGIC will make for a 
for better conversations, make for better understanding of challenges that are not only from, from, from multinational companies. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much, Albert, and also dear geospatial community. Let's join the Trailblazer Awards and uh, yeah, bring this very exciting and interesting and very inter important topic to Intergeo and the Intergeo community on October the 20th. That's the third day of Intergeo 2022 in Essen at the Expo stage. And yeah, celebrate the winners of the Trailblazer Awards of the WGIC. And uh, yeah, hope to see you there. Will you also join Intergeo in, in Germany this year? Yes, definitely I will be there and I'm really looking forward to it. And, and Denise, once again, thank you so much for having me. I'm looking forward to, to the award in Intergeo. Super cool. So we'll meet in person uh, shortly. Mm -hmm. So really, really exciting. Thank you very much for announcing um, the work of the WGIC here at Intertio TV and see you in Essen, Germany soon. Thank you very much, Albert. Mm -hmm.